my church, one of the responsibilities of the various pastors is to be pastor on call. And that means that uh, any phone, anytime someone calls the church's phone, it forwards it to our phone and we are the pastor on call. If I need to talk to any, any time, day and night, we're, we're the person. About a month ago, I got a phone call from a person who called, never, never met the person. I don't think he was a member of this church at all. And he just needed help. And we spoke for a little bit and he's going through some very difficult times. His uh, job, uh, he's looking for a job. And so he needed one, and that was a huge stress in his life. His wife was about to leave him. He had other issues going on in his life, terrible, terrible storm at the same time. And he said to me, I think I'm losing my faith. I think I'm losing my faith. Uh, several things stood out. One was, of course, he said that so calmly, but it was sounded, of course, so desperate. Here is a man calling a stranger, probably looked up just the local church nearby, and was wanting to talk to someone. So it was a very special moment for a guy to call up to say, I need to talk to somebody because I think I'm losing my faith. So I talked to him for about 30 minutes and I just want to say a couple words to you that I said to him that I thought might be encouraging if you find yourself in a similar situation. I said uh, at least two major things. One is, I mean, I thanked him for calling me and so forth, but when it comes to losing our faith, I said, first off, I want to say, you're going through a lot of stressful things. When we go through stressful times in life, and I mean real stressful things, not, not when I lose my car keys and I couldn't get my favorite parking spot and other really stupid things that we get worried about sometimes. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you get bad news from the doctor and when he or she leaves or walks out on you and so forth, like, like this man struggling with. When we go through very terrible things in life, you will have emotional responses. You will feel sad, you will feel scared, you will feel hopeless, you will feel angry, a whole host of emotions. Feeling those emotions does not mean that you are losing your faith. It means that you are going through a traumatic event, some kind of crisis. And when we go through crisis, we go through trauma, the re response we're supposed to have is to feel things. So if you find yourself stuffing those feelings, denying those feelings, and a real favorite amongst Christians or churchy people is to feel guilty about those feelings because real Christians don't feel those feelings. If you feel, if you believe those kinds of lies, your healing will be stunted or at worst, it will never happen. You'll just stay in depressive mode or you'll be addicted to something to deal with those powerful emotions. So the best thing to do is to let the emotions come out. You need to talk about your feelings. You need to find a trusted friend a pastor and so forth, a therapist, a Christian therapist, and you need to go talk to that person and allow them to invest in you. So you need to process those emotions. Take that very seriously. Whatever voice is in your head or voice is not in your head, if it's some relative or loved one or someone who's maybe they intend well, but they're not doing something good to you by saying, don't think about that. Just go pray about it. Those people are not good for you. You need to go find someone else who allows you the room and the safety the, just the space to feel what it is you're feeling in that crisis mode. So feelings are okay. Talk about them. Cry. Journal. Um, the second thing I'd say is this about the faith issue about God. On the one hand, I told this man, on the one hand, you might be losing your faith. But that might be a good thing. If your faith is in a God that always rescues, if, it's a, if you have a belief that the God who exists... It's a God who would never let you have these bad times go through. Then you do not believe in the true God. You believe in a fairy tale. You have a, you have a fiction religion. And I know it's popular. I know. I listen to Joel Osteen and many other people who think that God, God exists as a cosmic Santa Claus to give us whatever you want. And unfortunately, that God does not exist. The true God of the Bible does bless sometimes. And there are many times, even in the biblical example, where God chooses not to rescue. It reminds me of the Matthew 11 passage where John the Baptizer sends his disciples off to ask Jesus, are you the one who's to come or not? Are you the Messiah or not? It's important to know that John the Baptizer was in prison when he sent that. And almost certainly, the question is, if you're not the Messiah, then, then I'm wrong and you're wrong for telling people, leading them on. But if you are the Messiah, what in the world am I doing in prison? Jesus says, you go tell them the deaf can hear, the poor have the preached good news to them, the, and so forth. 
And then verse 6, he says, and blessed is the one who's not offended at me. Blessed is the one who's not offended when I do not come rescue them out of jail. John the baptizer's reward for being faithful to God's calling and morality was to get beheaded. So maybe you do need to lose your faith in a false god. Maybe you worship an idol. And that's why you're not having prayers answered, because you're praying to nothing. But on the other hand, maybe you don't have that bad theology. Maybe your theology is solid, and it's a biblical-based kind of theology where you realize God doesn't have to answer every prayer and so forth, and you're not wanting a cosmic Santa Claus, but you still feel like you're losing faith in him, or, either, or it's not real. To that person, if you're that person, I'd say, that's why feelings should not and do not dictate truth. Jesus existed, he taught, and ministered, died on the cross, rose from the dead. These are facts of reality, they're facts of existence. What I feel about them are, is irrelevant. What I feel is irrelevant. They're either true or they're false. It's like saying, I don't want to believe 2 plus 2 equals 4. Well, you might not want to do that, but you, if you, whether you feel it or not, it's still true. In that sense... That's why it's so important for us to know what the truth claims are about Christianity. If you're going through a crisis, if you're going through a trauma right now, I would encourage you two things. Number one, which I've already said, and I'll reiterate one more time. The first thing is I would make sure you're talking about your feelings with a trusted friend, Christian therapist, or so forth. Get those feelings out. It might not be a one-time deal. It might be a long-time deal. And ideally, in a lifetime, you have trusted friends and spouses and best friends, whatever, with whom you are uh, you're processing emotions. The second thing I'd say is make sure you know the truth claims of Christianity. Make sure you know the true God. Make sure you know the true God. And I just want to encourage you. Um, I don't have all the answers. My faith is not perfect or whatever that means. I'm not always certain of everything either. And that's okay because faith doesn't mean being certain. And if I, and when I go through crisis times in my life, when I've gone through them, I get mad at God, I get upset, I do, and I let him know that, and that's okay, that's okay. Let God know how you feel. If no one around you wants to hear it, then tell God through a journal. Tell him, he's big enough to handle that. And you might be losing faith in a false God. The good news is, on the other side of that season, you can come to know the real God, the real one. Well. Just mean this is a form of encouragement if you're going through a crisis time. You might be losing your faith. Maybe not. Maybe you're just having strong feelings. And that strong feeling, that season can come and you know, can go depending on the nature of your loss. So give it time. You will heal when you have people invest in you. Keep working through it. You're going to do a good job. God bless you.